Hi everybody, it's Laura and Miha and Lucy. And today I'm going to read a very short but very powerful story out of the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill that's left an impact on me and I'd like to share it. So, one afternoon he was helping his uncle grind wheat in an old-fashioned mill. This is talking about Mr. Darby's <clears throat> uncle. And if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. I won't go into who Mr. Darby is, but he's got an amazing story. Anyways, the uncle operated a large farm on which a number of co uh, colored sharecrop farmers lived. Quietly, the door was open and a small colored child, the daughter of a tenant, walked in and took her place near the door. Good girl. The uncle looked up, saw the child, and barked at her roughly. What do you want? I wasn't yelling at you. Meekly, the child replied, My mammy said send her 50 cents. Oh, Lucy, let's see. Um... I'll not do it, the uncle retorted. Now you run on home. Yes, sir, the child replied, but she did not move. <clears throat> the uncle went ahead with his work, so busily engaged that he did not pay attention to the child to observe that she did not leave. When he looked up and saw her still standing, standing there, he yelled at her, I told you to go on home now, or I'll go, or I'll take a switch to you. Scary. Let's see. The little girl said, yes, sir, but she did not fudge. The uncle dropped a sack of grain he was about to pour into the mill hopper, picked up a barrel stave, and started toward the child with an expression on his face that indicated trouble. Darby held his breath. He was certain he was about to witness an assault. He knew his uncle had a fierce temper. When the uncle reached the spot where the child was standing, she quickly stepped forward, one stepped, looked in, up into his eyes and screamed at the top of her shrill voice, My mammy's gotta have that 50 cents! <laughs> right? The uncle stopped, looked at her for a minute, and then slowly laid the barrel stave on the floor. This is such a great story. Put his hand, put his hand in his pocket, took out half a dollar, and gave it to her. <laughs> the child took the money and slowly backed toward the door, never taking her eyes off the man whom she had just conquered. After she had gone, the uncle sat down on a box. Oh, Miha's laying down. The story's making her tired. The uncle sat down on the box and on a box and looked out the window into space for more than ten minutes. He was pondering with awe over the whipping he had just taken. <clears throat> Mr. Darby, too, was doing some thinking. That was the first time in all his experience that he'd seen a colored child deliberately master, master an adult white person. How did she do it? I love that story, and it's been sticking with me, and I was thinking about how did she do it, and the two things that I've come away with are that she had major definite purpose, she went in with an intention and knew what she was going there for to get, and um, I love that she looks him right in the eye and doesn't budge, and the other thing that I take away from that is that her major definite purpose is so important to her that she's willing to risk taking a beating for it. So, just something to think about, friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed story time with Miha and Lucy. And uh, click the link below, join me, and uh, let's let's do big things. I'll see you in the next video.